Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today's video is sponsored by SaneBox. I'll show you a little bit more about them later in today's video. Now Microsoft Excel have overhauled their Excel application and as many know they had a few events this year remotely that introduced some new features to Excel and one of those was the ability to connect your Microsoft Excel to your finances and be able to connect them to things like your bank account and be able to make um, decisions and bring in data in real time. And it looks like Microsoft Excel are sort of continuing this trend of data connectivity within Excel. So they're basically releasing something called new data types in Excel. It's been around for a little bit of time. However, this new data types allow you to do a lot more than they used to. So essentially you can create a data type based on two separate entities. So for example, you could do it based on their Wolfram Alpha, uh, which is a, a basically a huge search engine. Um, uh, it's basically a knowledge base of information uh, for static bits of information. So for example, it could be uh, places, uh, locations, um, universities, things like that, like just general wiki information from the internet. And then they're also allowing you to create new data types on your company's information. So let's start with how the general uh, bits of wiki information will work. So for example, let's say if you're creating an Excel uh, about um, your local area and you're trying to bring in data for that and you, for example, select uh, geography and you go to say Seattle, with, when you've um, brought that in, it will bring in live data. So for example, from Wolfram Alpha, it will bring in population area, like the state, country. Um, it's really quite extensive what they actually allow you to bring in. Um, and that helps you to build up data within your area without necessarily having to go out. And what's cool is that's live data, so it should update inside of Excel. Now, obviously this is not just uh, for you know locations, they've done it for elements, um, for space, and uh, lots more information like that. Um, it's actually seems to be quite extensive in terms of uh, what they've added. Uh, and Wolfram Alpha is obviously quite uh, deep when it comes to hundreds of different data types. Some examples um, are like movies, locations, activities, zip codes, food. So for example, you can get calorie information, stocks, geography. Uh, and chemistry. Um, so that's quite cool in being able to detect that. And you can have an automatic data type as well, which I assume detects it and brings in the relevant information. And I'm sure they'll add more to it, but I think the real magic is more when you connect it to your own data. So they've built this with the uh, business, Power Business Intelligence team, and essentially you can connect up an existing database, or um, sorry, an existing Excel sheet, and convert some of the areas into data types. So for example, if you had a column for product, you could um, select um, the data type as product, but the column that all the information's in um, and start going there. And what's cool is then you can bring in your own data from your company. So if you're looking to get live inventory stats or updates on a certain type of product and the sales figures for it, it will automatically keep that updated. So they're like sort of leaning towards building these sort of live files, a bit like what's in available in applications like Coda and like in applications uh, like Airtable as well, once you set them all up. Now, naturally, it's a big leap for Excel, so it's um, obviously going to be growing and they're going to be adding more data types. So we'll keep an eye on this one, but definitely an interesting move from Microsoft Excel. So folks, hopefully you enjoyed this update. I'll include an article below about it. Here's a little bit more about SaneBox, but a huge thank you for stopping by in today's video. These days we get inundated with emails, so it seems it's no longer about responding to them all, but the ones that truly matter. And that's why you need to check out SaneBox. I've personally been using SaneBox for the last two years and have loved the way that the AI monitors my inbox, moving any unwanted emails right into a folder called Sane Later, leaving me more time to focus on processing emails that are important and not the, every single one that comes in. Apparently, SaneBox users save roughly three to four hours a week on email. 
What's really cool is you can train the system as well. So if you find an email in the wrong folder, just move it and it will train over time. There's no installs, no learning, and it works with all email providers and services out there. I personally use it with Missive. It also has some nifty features like Sane Black Hole, where you can drag messages from annoying senders you never want to hear from again, and Sane Reminders to ping you if someone hasn't replied to your email by a certain date. Now you can get a two week free trial and $25 credit by visiting sanebox.com slash keep productive. Anyway folks, a big thank you and I hope you enjoy.